Hey, 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 guys, all of you, welcome to the session. This is your agent for change. Yes, Seth, Pradyuman, Mohit, I can see you all. Yashvi, Mohit, Ria, Ananya, and all the others out there. A very warm welcome to you guys, and you're going to enjoy the session, I promise you. So newcomers, if you are there, this is your go-to session if you want to get more familiarized with your RC passages, if you want to get that comfort factor while solving RCs. Bahut mazadar hote hain sessions and in every session I strive to bring something or the other, some, some new topic, something that will help expand your horizons. Aaj kya hai? Wo abhi aap dekhenge thodi dere mein. Alright, so agent is what? Eon, Guardian, Economist, New York Times and Time Magazine. It's my endeavor to bring for you a topic cherry picked from one of these sources. And we do this session on alternate days. Today it's The Economist. And it's a very uh, interesting, intelligent, captivating topic. Abhi dekhte hai kya hai. Before that, the quick round of announcements. We have got the CAT Iconic, which is a flagship program for CAT aspirants. And yes, the most important announcement is UCL, Unacademy Champions League. You know very well. It's there on uh, April 24th. And you've got a chance to win a whole scholarship, like 100% scholarship plus exciting prizes. Right, guys? So enroll for this and use my referral code Shivana Life. We've got our notes now, which come as part of your Iconic subscription. So that's something very interesting and the second phase will be launched very soon. Stay tuned for it. Okay, this is an evening batch which is going on, kickstart batch. And yes, another interesting announcement. I'm starting a new batch course along with some other educators on the 27th of April. So those of you who are new on the platform and are looking for some kind of a batch course to get latched onto, that's the one for you. Our Academy Ask It Out feature. This is an absolute darling. I love it. What does this picture tell you, Saif and Mohammad Atif Khan and Anushka and Pallavi? Let's see who guesses this. Today, it's something from science. Yeah, Ritana science to manana, bachpan mini pada, school mini pada, jitna aap long ki vajasi mujhe ap pada na pada hai. So, the amount of research work that I did for this particular topic made me wonder, Ari, Riri, Shabana, what are you doing? Itna science pada karke to sida tum astronaut hi ban jao ki. Satellite, okay, related to nuclear, yes, Mrinal, wow, that's intelligent. Yes, yes, okay, 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 not space related exactly. Yes, it's related to something related to nuclear. Okay, Atif Khan. Parallel universe, Saf Numan. Tumara parallel universe to Aman, tumara roommate. Abhi aur kya chahiye tumko? Piyush, hi, good evening. All right, guys, so without further ado, I'll take you over to the topic. And the topic today is nuclear fission and fusion. Now, back in the school days, I could never understand fission and fusion. For me, it was like something very complicated. And I never bothered also because I was not very keen towards science. But uh, now at this stage, kind of, you know, I've got that insatiable urge to learn as many new things as possible. So today, when I was doing this uh, PPT for you, it was like an absolutely divine thing. It was like something very exciting for me to kind of delve into the depths of this topic and come up with like a lot of information for you guys. So nuclear fission and fusion, what exactly is it? Before we get on to the passage, we need to know this, right? Ab dekho, hamara jo sun hai. So, you know, how does the sun work? Operate kaise karta hai sun? Uska wo kya hai? Uh, uh, mechanics kya hai uska? Yeah? That is fusion. Fission, F-I-S-S-I-O-O-N. Fission means, simply put, breaking. So maybe uh, uh, this thing, you know, a uranium, this thing is kind of broken and then there is a fission kind of, aapka wo jo atom break hota hai, a ura uranium atom breaks and then kind of energy comes out of it. Take a fission is breaking. Fine. And there are many and many uh, ventures by scientists towards this. Like fission se energy produce bohat bar kiya ja chuka hai. But the more elusive area is fusion. Fusion is what? When two atoms come together. Now guys, in order for something to fuse, what happens is the atoms have to come together. But this you all know, ye mere jasa science wala newbie bhi janta hai, ki there is a nucleus in an atom. And nucleus mein kya hota hai? Proton and neutron. Thik hai? Proton ka charge is always positive. Right? Ye basic knowledge hai. 
So what happens is when we talk about fusion, you need to bring atoms together. And when they fuse, you get energy, right? But this fusion is not very easy because these atoms repel. Because of the proton, the positive charge in both the atoms, the two atoms will repel. Okay? That is where the problem comes in. So fission or fusion, kyun baat kar rahe? fission or fusion, these two are like sources of energy. You know that we are facing an energy crisis in today's era, right? And the scientists are looking for like renewable sources of energy. They are trying to harness the power of the sun. So now this fusion is something on which the sun works. But when we try to do it, when we try to replicate the fusion thing on earth, what happens is the atoms are not able to kind of fuse because they repel. Take it. In order to make them fuse, you need very high temperatures and very high pressure. Sun may have zyada high temperature and pressure. Hai. That's why that fusion keeps happening. On earth, when we try to do that, so far what has happened is scientists have been able to make fusion happen. But you know what? There is a draw, there, there's a shortcoming. The amount of energy that they have used in making the fusion happen has been greater than the amount of energy produced. So what's the use? But ye to wo wali baat hai ki hum ja rahe hain naukri karne ke liye, theek hai? Ek jagah mujhe pahunchna hai jahan mujhe ek din ka 100 rupaye milega. Wahan pahunchne ke liye I have to change 3 to 4 buses and 2 trains, metros. Eventually I end up spending 200 rupees just on commuting. To bhai wo 100 rupaye ja ke aap kyun hi kama rahe hain? You got the point. So that's why scientists are still hungry to kind of make this happen. They are still excited and they feel something can be done in this. And maybe a day will come when they will be able to reduce that cost of making the fusion happen and reduce the amount of energy. Jo energy produce karne mein, you know, they want to produce energy. So they want to kind of increase that and reduce the amount of energy that goes into making that fusion happen. That is where our world is flummoxed on this fusion and fission thing. Did you understand this now? So I think I have explained it in layman's terms what fission and fusion are. These are clean sources of energy and these are like the sought after sources. But fusion is more difficult because of I explained the reason. Fission keeps happening. It's like comparatively easy. Got it guys? Pradyu, Ananya, Diksha. The passage is about this. Now, I tell you guys, because I have given you this external knowledge, you can get this external knowledge by reading also. So, if you have this external knowledge in your head and you go over to the passage now, oh, you will be able to see things so clearly. Everything will be like, oh, in a jiffy, everything will make sense to you. Right, Pranal? Pallavi? Okay, Naim Renal, ye zyada ho gaya. Better than the science teacher bole to bhai matlab, matlab mein kya hi bolo tumhe. Maths and science, goosebumps. Ooh. But anyway, as I said, Renal, we all change as human beings. Back then, I used to get repulsed by science. Today, what happens, my dear students, when I come across a passage which seems alienish to me, Renal, I take it upon me as a challenge. I decide that I have to get to the bottom of this. Aisa kaise hoga ki mujhe ye nahi aata hai ye topic. Aisa kaise hoga. So that is what I am trying to pass on to my students. That have that fire in your belly. Back in my days there was nobody to tell me this. Ki haan tujhe karna hai ye topic karo conquer it. But today I am there to tell you. If you come across a difficult topic try to wrap your head around it guys. You will feel elevated, enlightened and happy. All right. Chalo, perfect. Let's move on now. Okay, Mrina. Uh, Nishi, Ria, Disha, everybody. Take a look at the passage. You just have to understand that if the passage is there in front of you on the D-Day, how would you handle it? Which portions are you going to read? Which portions are you going to skim? Which portions are you going to skip? Mahesh, I hope you are there in the audience because this is where you are getting stuck. All right. Now look here. It starts with an example. Beautifully written. Kalham in Oxfordshire is home to just 500 people. Can you imagine a village with just 500 people? 
Okay. Yet the English village houses some of the world's most ambitious science projects. Fine. What happened? On Feb 9th, something, something announced that they had released 59 megajoules. You can skim. 11 days, uh, nuclear fusion, the process that powers the sun. You already know Shabana Shahab has told you that the sun works on this fusion process. Okay. So you can just skim this. That is a new record that they have set. Breaking jets. Jet con hai? Waha diya by joint European Taurus. So breaking jets earlier achievement of 22 something and the latest in a series of breakthroughs which suggest that. You know very well, right? Which portion is important for us in this whole paragraph, right? Mrinal, right? Ananya, right? Pradyu, right? Saurav, Pandeji. Oh, you're Arzu. Cool. So which, which portion is important in this? Everybody can understand this. The last bit, the last four lines. Nuclear fusion that powers the sun. And the latest in a series of breakthroughs which suggests that fusion long anticipated as a source of limitless clean energy is inching closer to viability. But what is nuclear fusion and how does it work? Now, after reading this question over here, I would like to pause and I would like to ask you this. Can anybody identify the style of the passage? I mean, what is the author going to do? Is he going to contend and refute? Is he going to analyze two or three points? Is he just going to give you like facts, 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 and then maybe one or two kind of shortcomings here and there? What is he going to do? What is the gut feel that you have by reading the first paragraph? Let's see if you can come up with it. Yes, Prinal, Kashish, Shitej, Riya, Darshika. Say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody? What is the style? Okay, all right. Yes, Mohit. Yes, Durga Prasad. First, part. descriptive. Yes, Diksha, you said it. All right, cool. Oh, yes, Disha. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me first show you a question and then I'll tell you in detail. Okay, which of the following does not match the tone, your yes, style of the passage as per the first paragraph? I mean, just after reading the first paragraph, which one does not match? Ye mujhe. Narrative, factual, descriptive, argumentative. Just two classes back in the plus, uh, we had been discussing this style and all. I think I remember plus tha ya special. Tha? I think plus. Mein tha. Right? Yes, exactly. You guys got it. Option four. Vidushi, it can't be one. Anchita, it can't be one. Narrative, if you remember, two days back, I explained. I said narrative can be in two forms. Do you remember? Uh, fairy tale wala bataya tha man. Narrative can be in two forms. One is I V likha hoga usme pure man. The other narrative form is long ago, once upon a time, there was a castle on uh, atop a hill. There was a king and a queen and a beautiful daughter whom they had named um, Oriola or whatever. You got it. So if the author is just trying to narrate something to you, whether it's scientific or a fairy tale or literary or whatever, just narrating and the sentences are not very dense, it will be called narrative style. You got it, guys? Right, Anchu, clear. Factual to hai because he's giving us facts. Descriptive, it's going to be there. Argumentative. This passage is not going to be argumentative because we can make out very well from here, from the first param, Rinal and Anchu. Ananya, he just says, you know, we, it happened, this happened, this happened, it's inching closer to viability, but what is nuclear fusion and how does it work? So the next para and the next to next para and all the following paragraphs are going to delve into the details of nuclear fusion. Its advantages, disadvantages, maybe uh, how, how far we have come, how far we have reached, okay? Uh, when it comes to nuclear fusion or what. So uh, we understood, right, Pallavi, Rhea? Let's move forward. So this paragraph shows us that it's going to be narrative or descriptive or Jovi Apn Deka factual. Now, today's nuclear power plants produce energy through fission. There's a colon there. I have already explained fission to you, so it's going to become very easy for you. Large nuclei break down into smaller ones, like uranium. Releasing energy and neutrons as they do so. Fusion, on the other hand, works the other way around, banging together smaller nuclei so that they fuse into bigger ones. Got it? You know it very well now. Now, in jet, 
what is jet go back and check quickly i have taught you this point keep going back and forth in your passage mrunal and vivek and kashish and pallavi and riya keep going back and forth if you need to confirm certain things jet is white what okay joint european torus fine so they are saying in jet two different isotopes of hydrogen are fused to release a helium nucleus something large amounts of energy if done correctly this fusion reaction can release almost 4 million times more energy than burning the equivalent mass of oil o oh. so definitely this is a good way of getting energy and four times as much energy energy as a nuclear fission reaction so fusion is superior to fission we got this clear it is also a clean process producing no greenhouse gases or long term toxic nuclear waste the tone of the paragraphs so easy so clear right the tone of these paragraphs is positive he is talking about fusion in a good light the author believes that fusion is good now after reading these two paragraphs vivek and suraj good evening suraj disha after reading these two paragraphs this thought comes to mind oh okay you are praising fusion a lot mr author but based on my external reading i know that fusion is quite difficult to achieve so when are you going to change your tone when are you going to say that however this is a little difficult this i get in my mind why because i have done a little bit of external reading so i'm not applying that external reading but then that helps me connect very easily right yes shreya so, so far it's positive fine he's hopeful he's praising it he's praising fusion and he says it's much superior to fission and it's a very clean source of energy it's a clean process no greenhouse gases whatever theek hai now given those stellar characteristics i go back to that paragraph yes he was praising everything so stellar characteristics stellar characteristics are good positive characteristics oh he's continuing fine given those stellar characteristics scientists has, have long wanted to develop power plants that use nuclear fusion fusion but although aa gaya yahan pe uska turning point right and because of external reading you will be able to connect very easily because of your external knowledge that i have given you okay but although individual fusion reactions have been achieved for many decades power generating plants remain elusive so you can skim this paragraph but you have to pause at these important zones and that is what i'm training you in these sessions right i'm training you for these the paragraphs the for the pauses so yahan pe stellar characteristics you go back you connect ha okay stellar characteristics but although acha so but although okay so what's the main point power generating plants remain elusive mushkil hai unko banana then he gives the reason because atomic nuclei repel each other didn't i tell you that kashish atomic nuclei repel each other because they have protons in the center and they have positive charge they have to be moving very fast to fuse which means you need a lot of energy to kick start and sustain the process you need a lot of energy you need a lot of pressure a high pressure even at the extreme pressures found in the sun the nuclei need to be at 15 million degree celsius to overcome their mutual repulsion can you believe that so itna waha chahiye so yahan to kitna zyada chahiye hoga right the last line in oxfordshire what is oxfordshire oxfordshire let me just go back and check oh he was talking about this place kalham in oxfordshire okay so in oxfordshire where such pressures are not available these plants cannot be set up we need reactions these reactions need temperatures closer to 100 million 100 million degree celsius got it so we understood now he is narrating it he has been telling us this but then in this paragraph he tells us that somehow because of this reason we have not been able to achieve it got it guys perfect anchita this is so cool try to learn how to handle such paragraphs stellar but although oh although ke baad jo dusra wala point hai power generating plants remain elusive and then the last bit in oxfordshire beach ka you can just skim a a a a got it all right fine now you check now at such high temperatures so he spoke about the high temperature and pressure over here and because of this we have not been successful maybe he's going to explain that further technical portion technical portion you don't need to read much safely skim and save time in your rc passages at such high temperatures solids and gases cannot exist that's another bit of another bit of knowledge that you need to know 
जब इतना टेम्परेचर होगा और प्रेशर होगा सॉलिड एंड गैसेस नहीं रहेगा दस अनदर फॉर्म अ फोर्थ फॉर्म दैट साइंटिस्ट नीड प्लाज्मा ओके साइंटिस्ट मस्ट इंस्टेड मैनिपुलेट अ फोर्थ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर प्लाज्मा a fluid consisting of individual ions and electrons they have so far struggled start skimming method with the longest pedigree jet traps at its heart is a soviet design system tokamak reactor if there is a question on tokamak reactor ananya i'll come back for it vivek for the time being you don't need to go into it okay these are like totally technical stuff tokamak reactor and then blah 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 something catches my eye over here in the fourth last line and that is startups hey he was talking about reactors and power plants and suddenly comes to startups okay so now he's connecting it with how the world is chasing it startups attracted by the potential financial returns the financial returns are going to be huge that could come from successful fusion are developing new methods so constantly they are trying to come up with new methods but then that thing is elusive one is trying magnetized target fusion inverted me hai which would use electrical pulses to create blah 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 if there is a question on magnetized target fusion towards the end i'll come back for it i'll pick that from there and i'll answer if there is a question on startups i know where to go and look if there is a question on tokamak reactor i know where to go and look so this is a total to, this is totally a technical portion skim it safely save at least 1 to 1 and 1/2 minutes and move got it guys yes exactly anchu you said it you just need to know what is where over here and the last paragraph now after speaking about the difficulties and the technical portion he comes to this so far every control fusion reaction on earth has consumed more energy than it has released do you see that i gave you that bit in the beginning now every control fusion reaction it's not that scientists have not been able to do it they have been able to do it but individual fusion like you know plants they have not been able to set up so and those fusions have consumed more energy i gave you that example 100 rupees mujhe per day mil raha hai us naukri mein and i'm spending about 200 bucks to reach that place so what's the use right so more energy than it has released making the process useless as an alternative to fossil fuels so i pause here anchita Okay, Mr. Author. So this is the last paragraph. So what are you pessimistic about it? What are you saying? You are saying that you know it has become useless. Oh, but the second line says, but recent developments have made some people optimistic that net energy gain reactions, the holy grail, nuclear fusion reaction produces more energy, could soon be achieved. Finished. I get my entire thing over here in the last paragraph. The overall tone I get. the author starts this paragraph by saying this here that yes it is difficult it has been elusive so far but then there are hopes people are optimistic and then you can skim the technical portion in may 21 a chinese reactor so ye kya hai dekho anchita yahan pe ananya saurav jo beech ka portion i have highlighted na bold mein jo hai that is why has he given all that he has given all that to show that people have been trying to come up with methods so you just don't need to read that portion you can skip this portion skip bole to sirf chinese national commonwealth bill gates jeff bezos that's it done i don't need to go to when i'm doing my cat passage uh, on the d day got it now the last four lines you know shabana ma'am has told you the last four lines are extremely important come what way you have to read that right that portion put together the breakthroughs suggest oh acha iske pehle he was discussing the breakthroughs ha ah, clear suggest that scientists scientists and engineers are on the brink of something important oh mr author you sound quite optimistic certainly the pace of development has been moving faster than ever before cfs claims for example that it can achieve this 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 investors who have recently handed in yeah invest kiya hai jin logon ne will be hoping it will so the passage ends on a, on an optimistic note positive note that yes thing this thing is possible the author is hopeful of it right the highlighted portion as i said can be skimmed and please check the overall tone the overall tone is optimistic positive that's it got it guys didn't you learn something new today i'm sure you guys are feeling happy about it that brings me to the end of the session and as i mentioned earlier a new batch course starts on 27th april for the newcomers happy guys
I'm very happy after doing this passage because it has been an elevating experience for me getting into the depths of fusion, fission, reading so many articles about them before I could come up with this particular thing for you guys. That is how I enrich myself. I invest time in myself for you guys and I'm just trying to motivate you guys. Read, read, read. The world will be at your feet if you just read. Anshita, same here. <laughs> first time I felt, first time ever I felt I was a little interested in science. Darshika, thank you so much, Yashvi and everybody else. So maybe, you know, you can just Google simple things, fission and fusion. What is fission? What is fusion? And you know, the best way to learn is examples of fission and fusion. You learn a lot. Okay, guys, I'm taking leave of you now. I'm going to meet you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Take care.